नमस्कार सिक्किम क्रॉनिकल में तब स्वागत सिक्किम सन्दर्भ में जति कोविड नाइन्टीन रिलेटेड न्यूज रिपोर्ट्स अपडेट्स हम लगातार रूप में तबला दी रह जीपी व्यूवर्स फलोवर्स ने समस्या हमीर लेखे पठान हम सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म रल कर समाधान हमी अथोरिटीज में रिच आउट करें तो तब अगड़ी हमी लिया पुराने काम भी लगातार रूप में कर एक्सक्लूजिव रिपोर्ट में अभी म उभु ये इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर द फर्स्ट अफ इट्स काइंड इन द स्टेट अफ सिक्किम सिक्किम जो सिक्किम मणिपाल इंस्टिट्यूट अफ टेक्नोलॉजी में स्थित है इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर हो एआईसी एसएमयू टीबीआई रही मैं छू रहा कू भादा खेल चाहिए नीति आयोग के एटा डिरेक्शन छि जी अंडिया में नहीं स्टार्टअप्स इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर्स वहाँ को बड़ा जी यदि यो कोविड नाइन्टीन यो जो पेन्डेमिक टैकल कर यदि कुछ भारत में भारत स्टार्टअप इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर में तो इनोवेटिव आइडिया रो जो हेल्थ के सल्युसन छोड़ा पब्लिक कर अथवा अथोरिटीजरस अथवा कंसर्न एजेंसीसंग पुरा कसरी सीचुएसन टैकल कर सकता भाई क्रम में तो डिरेक्शन अलरेडी नीति आयोग ने दी सकूँ तेस क्रम में अभी हमी इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर में छो विच इज सीचुएटेड इन सिक्किम मणिपाल इंस्टिट्यूट अफ टेक्नोलॉजी रन्क्युबेशन सेंटर को नाम हो एआईसी एसएमयू टीबीआई रहा ये एवं सल्युसन अब अथवा जो पेन्डेमिक सीचुएसन में कहीं न कहीं गए हेल्थ केयर सल्युसन भाई जो इनोवेटिव आइडियाज लिया क्रम में एट सल्युसन यहाँ पर यदि कुछ इमर्जेन्सी खंड में यो जो लैब यो यो लैब में प्रयोग कर यूज करें हमें कुछ सल्युसन निकालन सकता भाई क्रम में सो अ फ्रेम में हो सीओ अफ दि इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर जो इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर एआईसी एसएमयू टीपीआई प्रोफेसर तेज सिंह ताम हुई इज द सीईओ अफ दिस इन्क्युबेशन सेंटर सो वहाँ लाइम सोचने कि व्हाट इज दिस सल्युसन राइट नाउ इन दिस पेन्डेमिक अफ कोविड नाइन्टीन फर्स्ट अफ अल डॉक्टर तेज हमीर ठा कि तब क्या हम छोड़ रहा तर द मे मेनी अफ द व्यूअर्स डज नट नो वाई वी आर हियर सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू हाईलाइट ऑन दैट गुड मर्निंग योगन थैंक यू सो मच फर taking out time uh, to uh, cover this for 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 all of us uh the intention here is uh, we have been uh, uh, advised by uh, atal innovation mission uh, niti ayog to see uh, amongst all the incubators that has been started up under uh, the atal innovation mission we have been advised to see if we, there are any technology intervention that we can uh, uh, do to ensure that this pandemic uh, there is some solution for the pandemic that has uh, uh, taken a toll on the entire economy as well as the whole Uh, uh, situation of the country, uh, in fact, worldwide, globally. So, what we intend to do is here. We have been working on how we go about helping this. So, we uh, do not have too much of potential in terms of uh, fabrications or other thing. But whatever little uh, technology that is available inside the incubator, we have tried deploying it. Uh, we have a maker space and the fabrication lab, and in that we have used the 3D printer that's available with us, and we are trying to make uh, some uh, masks. We have uh, taken some time for us to design because there were some design. flows and it has taken some time for us to ensure that the product comes into uh, a usable form so initially uh, we tried making uh, a different design and it could not uh, take off properly because uh, because of the type of material that we have in stock because we were not prepared for such kind of eventualities and we did not have any of this material in stock so therefore what we did was with whatever stock material that we have raw material that we have we were trying to deploy it so in the process what happens is we have made some masks uh, like this uh, which is technically Uh, very simple and it just about it covers the entire face uh, an entire uh, nose and the mouth at least mm-hmm. so it is uh, wearable in this form it is wearable in this form and as of now this is uh, this is this is what we have made and the design we have is pretty easy and we are in case there's anybody capable of making it uh, we are ready to share the entire design in the form of a 3d printing i will also show it to you as to how it is being printed uh, another thing is the whole components are very easily fitable uh, component they are uh, Uh, it is like you can use the filter in this, and then you can just fit into it. And then once you have the uh, elastic or in terms of uh, strap, whichever is convenient for the user, we could easily fit uh, that into it, and it goes into the uh, into your um, as a mask very easily. That fits very well. So this is what we have done so far, mm-hmm. and. Uh, 
uh, we do not intend to you know replicate the manufacturing thing because we don't have the capacity all we did was we was just wanted to see whether the design is possible or not and the design indeed is possible and we have just created about some uh, 10 20 pieces right now we will be able to make it at the max we'll be able to make about 50 to 60 not more than that because I don't have the raw material with me so that is one of the difficulty we have and plus the filter that we are going to use for this uh, as per the if you are talking about uh, n95 or if you're talking about some of the standard things it requires a, a 0.3 micron is the requ requirement for the filter anything lesser than 0.3 microns so I think uh, as of now I do not have any material that can be uh, uh, used in this uh, I am also trying to request the uh, Manipal hospital if there, there's uh, CRH if there is uh, any way they can provide us any material that is possible to be fitted into this and we have not uh, yet uh, tried into the field as to whether it is actually deployable or not because when you wear it for about six seven hours or maybe longer, uh, it should be comfortable for the person wearing it. So that is the next thing that we would like to do. So at this stage, at the current stage, all I wanted to tell you is that the design is possible and we have the design uh, with us in case it is like if anybody is capable, if there is a potential of you know any anybody who is capable of making into bulk, I'm ready to share the design uh, as an open source. You know that is We will share it as an open source and anybody can, uh, we will try to, if requested, we can put it on our website. You can download it and use it for your printing if you have a 3D printer. That is what we can do as of now. So uh, see, uh, I let's just talk a little mass cause scarcity. So I'm going to put it in the But you are putting your effort to create this at this point of time. So about uh, what are the technicalities involved in preparing this thing, right? Uh, actually, the material we have used is a PLA material. Uh, it's a polyelectric acid. It is, uh, in fact, the material is uh, made out of cornstarch and uh, uh, which are biodegradable uh, at, at up to a certain point. Uh, I, I will not say it is completely biodegradable. Uh, however, having said that, the advantage is this is uh, if you uh, disinfect this, it is reusable. Okay. So, and the filter is replaceable. So you can just replace it, and it is reusable. It will not be uh, completely disposable. Mm -hmm. At the same time you can disinfect it and probably it'll be reusable so the material use is a PLA that is there uh, we were trying to look at other materials ABS and other materials but then I think uh, uh, it is possible to use other varieties of material but I don't have any of those material in stock so we just went ahead with whatever is available uh, in the incubator that is why we have uh, made use of it uh, yeah so your uh, intent is like if there's any case of emergency in future like if somebody needs to prepare this in bulk they can use this space likewise Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to make things again very clear. We are not. Uh, we are not. We don't intend to make it into a commercial product because we don't have the capacity, nor do we have people to do this. At the same time, uh, all I can say is, uh, whatever little that we have made, if anybody needs it, we can just give it as a gap filler. That is possible because it can be used as a gap filler, not as a uh, you know, not as a replacement of the existing market products. That is not uh, that we don't have the capacity for that. And uh, we are also trying to uh, for the filter part. I'm also trying to request uh, the government departments to kindly help us uh, in uh, making the filter so that we do not have provisions for certification nor we have any knowledge about the licensing and certification of the filter process so uh, we are trying to request uh, some maybe health department or commerce industry department to kindly intervene and help us if it is possible so that it is like uh, in case there is a shortage also so that you know the department can also uh, make use of it as a thing but I am not sure whether uh, we, we will not be in a position to make in large scale that is very much for sure because I don't have the raw material with us. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Diz, I'd want you to show us that how you are making this actually. Uh, see, um, we are technically working from home and we are monitoring the machines here. Uh, we have uh, 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 Mr. Pankaj, uh, the business development executive, who is uh, technically uh, looking at uh, uh, the feed of the raw material into the printing process. I'll just quickly show you the printing process if you would like to see. Uh, you can see that the, the entire process is going on right now. If you can uh, uh, say so, yeah, you can you can see the printing process going on here. So the PLA material uh, uh, is uh, used here. It is heated and then the frame that has been designed is fed into a computer, and uh, the entire uh, code that is used for making this is uh, transferred to the printer. Once it is done, uh, the PLA material comes in the in the in this form. You can just. I like this one. This, one. this is the material that we are using for printing. Okay, and from here we are using uh, uh, 
the, 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 the heating portion uh, and the filament is being heated from here it uh, starts making the design as per the uh, specification that we have put into the computer and this is how we get the the so uh, this would be the last question like see a uh, people a lot of a uh, lot of the people around may be having a lot of speculation regarding this what you're making right now in you know, a certification licensing of Quran sir you've spoken about you're trying to reach out to the government in case of emergency they can uh, you're also speaking to the CRS and all so what is your say right now key how are you going to approach the government that if they need this in emergency uh, see, technically we will not be in a position to help or make a building in large scale. That is not possible for us because I don't have the capacity and nor do I have the raw material. All I can do is the design that in case anybody needs it, I'm ready to share it as an open source. That's the only thing that I can do. Uh, but as of manufacturing point of view, uh, from making this, we can make about close about uh, maximum about uh, 60, 70 uh, marks that we can make uh, with the material that I have in stock. Uh, but besides that, uh, with the raw material that I have, I cannot do it more than that. That is the framework of the, the frame of the mass. And for the filter, again, as I've said earlier, I do not have or we do not have the technical know-how of the uh, certification process. And especially at this lockdown situation, we do not have any knowledge as to how to reach out. Especially the filter requirements are like HEPA materials. Or we are also trying to see if we can use SMS papers to see if the filtration process can uh, basically be used or, or not. Uh, uh, so this filter requires testing. And since I don't have the filter testing uh, for this, uh, I'm trying to reach out to the government if they can uh, assist or, us or in case there's any way we can work on this uh, so that, you know, the, the prototype model can be made ready and made available to anyone who wants to make, make it. Make it.